All right, true believers, this is a spoiler warning. If you have not watched season three of Stranger Things, stop now, do not go any further, or you could have some of the best moments and some of the saddest moments of Stranger Things spoiled. This is your last warning. Three, two, one, now it's on you. In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. trying to save the world from Russians and monsters. <laughs> Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today is a different video. Today, I am going to defend Susie from Stranger Things. There has been a lot of chatter out on the internet. People blaming Susie and Dustin for the death of Hopper. And Billy, but I think Billy was so possessed that he was gonna die anyways. But Hopper's fate. Who's really responsible for the fate? And is Susie actually responsible for Hopper's fate? Let's take a look at this. All right, first off, the actual duet, the singing number that they do before she gives Plank's constant lasts about two minutes and 30 seconds. So throughout the entire show, you could have saved two minutes and 30 seconds along the way. There's a lot of things that everybody could have done to speed up time. But that's subjective. I want to look at facts, cause and effect. Number one, Joyce. Joyce has a small piece of responsibility for this. When Hopper was fighting the Russian down in the bunker, the first time Joyce gets a hold of Hopper's gun and throws it to him. Unfortunately, she throws it completely over Hopper and it lands at the feet of the Russian. Had Hopper been able to get the gun, maybe detain the individual or shot the person, Hopper's fate would have been different. So Joyce is partly responsible. So it's one against Joyce. The next person I'm gonna look at, and this is gonna be controversial. I really love Smirnoff or Alexei, but we all know him as Smirnoff. But if you're looking at the time wasted versus Hopper's fate, Alexei wasted a lot of time watching cartoons and demanding certain things before he would actually help out. Had he actually been more helpful or didn't have to be persuaded as much, Hopper's fate could have changed. So that's one against Alexei slash Smirnoff as he will always be remembered. So we're at one for one, one for Joyce, one for Smirnoff slash Alexei. The next person has two strikes against them, and that is Murray. Yes, the ever lovable Murray, always trying to hook up our favorite cast members, is probably, as I say, he's about 50%, 50% of the cause of Hopper's fate. How do I figure that? Well, first off, when Alexei was providing the information on how to get past the safe he said it that you needed a particular formula called Planck's constant and Murray chimed up and said oh that's easy I know that he had it wrong he wrote it down wrong he remembered it wrong whatever he was wrong and that's why they had to call that's why Dustin had to call Susie because Murray got the number wrong had Murray got the number right Never would have had to call Susie. Susie would never have been in the show and you couldn't blame her for anything. Number two, when Hopper and Joyce leave Smirnoff and Murray in the car, Hopper tells Murray, keep him safe, stay in the car. Now you could say that both Joyce and uh, Hopper are a little bit responsible for this point, but Murray's told to keep him in the car. And instead, he takes them into the um, into the actual fair and go about like any normal people, putting him at risk. And of course, the Russian kills him. Now, on a caveat on this, you could say that the mayor also has one point against him as, as well. 
since the mayor, mayor turned in Joyce and Hopper, bringing the Russian to the fair. But I still put this on Murray. There's a chance that the Russian would have found them in the parking lot as well. But maybe he wouldn't have found them in the parking lot. Remember, he wasn't trying to find them in the parking lot. He rushed up and was, you know, charging straight into the fair, trying to find Hopper. He wasn't looking out for Murray and the scientists. That was just lucky that he ran into him. And my final piece of evidence, the, the person I could say probably most responsible for Hopper's fate is Hopper himself. Why do I say this? There's been a few times during this season where Hopper had a chance to either control his fate and or take out the Russian. Specifically two main ones. During the fight underground, if Hopper had not counted to three or had said, I'm going to count to three and on one pulled the trigger, the Russian might not have been ready for that and would have got shot in the head. Hopper pulled the trigger. He was intending to kill the guy. Why, why wait? Just pull the damn trigger already. Number two. During the fight in the funhouse, the Russian takes pop shots at the mirror image of Hopper. Hopper retaliates, firing rounds into the chest of the Russian. Now, he ends up running out of, uh, out of ammo. I check this to make sure. But I'm sorry. Two in the chest, one in the head. Two in the chest, one in the head. Repeat it if you need to. Make sure the mother is dead so you don't end up in this position having a tete-a-tete -tete around the big nasty machine which is known to kill people. Now, I don't think that Hopper is quote-unquote dead. Uh, a couple reasons. One, he puts the Russian into the machine, thereby breaking the machine and causing all the electricity from where Hopper is forward to stop. So he broke a circuit there, meaning that all the electric, all the electro, electrical energy, all that stuff that like disintegrates people was in front of Hopper going toward Joyce. I think that Hopper somehow got into the upside down because if you watch until the end credits, you will see that there is a scene where the Russians are saying, no, not the American. Now, here's my bad feeling. I want to say that Hopper's alive, but it could still be that the American they're talking about is Papa and not Hopper. I'm voting for Hopper. I want Hopper to live. I'm on the side of Hopper. But dude, don't monologue. Pull the effing trigger. Hopper had more than enough chances in the season to affect his fate. And then for Billy, I think Billy was so far gone that if the flare had died, I think Billy would have been taken with him. He was so filled of all that black. He was like, he was already part of the mind flare. He was just not assimilated yet. That's just my feeling from the season. And if you really want to blame anybody, blame the Duffer brothers or blame the writers. Don't blame poor Susie. She was just at home reading a book and Dusty Bun had to call her up and ask her what is Plank's constant. She was completely innocent in the whole situation and we should just enjoy probably one of the best moments in all of Stranger Things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.